Sol de Janeiro review, an honest review after buying all of these products, what would I recommend to you from best to worst? There's some naughty products in here. Make sure you stay till the end. I've got some exciting news that you don't want to miss at the very end. And all the products I'm talking about will be linked down below in a shopping list if you want to get any of the ones that I recommend that I like. Some of them I don't. And let's dive in. The first one that I want to warn you from not worst, could they really be worse? Not as good to best. <sighs> Straight out the gate. It is the Sol de Janeiro, the Brazilian crush, the uh, Charosa 71. My niece did not have this one. She had all of the other fragrances like um, the Charizo 62, like all the different numbers. 71 she did not have. And I was like, oh, I'll go buy it. I'll do a review. Many of you guys know I'm one of the top Amazon live streamers and um, I test products for a living. And so bought this one to test. It smells like popcorn. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, still smells like popcorn. It smells like popcorn. So if you want to smell like a movie theater, this is the fragrance for you. On a count of shopping scale, one to 10, 10 being the best, one being the worst, I would give it a three. If you like popcorn, then it's a 10. But for me, I don't really want to smell like popcorn. And I feel like I'm giving it a very generous three. Really, I'm going to change it to a two. I love the packaging on it. I think that the packaging is awesome. But for the price point, the product, the scent, no bueno. No, it's not, it's not hitting the count as a shopping list. Next, I have been waffling about this next one from Sol de, uh, the Sol de Janeiro. It's the Bum Bum Cream Oil. When I first bought this, I have been testing, you know, I test products all week. And so for the Sol de Janeiro, I've been testing them actually for the past two weeks to really give this like an honest count of shopping review of like, is this good or not? It had on here, one of the things that I like is that it's, it's, it's Bum Bum Body Oil. It's the, um, it helps to visibly firm and de-puff is what the claims on the packaging are. Um, I kind of look like the State Push Marshmallow Man at times. And um, with that State Puff Marshmallow Man happenings, um, <laughs> this, I realized my butt crack is, I think in that mirror, I was just checking. I was like, maybe I need more of the Sol de Janeiro back there. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Um, I love the packaging on it. First and foremost, straight out the gate. The bottom, it has this like rubber base. And because it's oil, I put it on the counter here thinking it was going to fall. It actually didn't. It was really, it, I appreciated that. The, the rubber base on it, it makes it an easy dispenser. Also, another brilliant thing that I've got that I've not gotten from other products, the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum um, Body, um, it's for Mez, Forgive my permits pronunciations, y'all. I'm gonna butcher them the whole show, so if that's gonna bother you. <laughs> if you like that, then click the follow button. But it's the Fermeza oil. Hopefully, put, put it phonetically in the comments. The things that I mispronounce because I do want to get it properly uh, said properly. It has this um, part on there, which I love. So it's not superfluously pumping extra oil. This is nice. I mean, I literally I used it on. I'm gonna use it on the other side of my hand. It has the oil with it, and the texture, the reason why I had initially, see, I just did it again. I am a texture person. This does not feel good to me. If you have weird texture issues, which I do, I don't like that. When I did it earlier, um, I loved it. I love the way it feels. But right now, I'm not digging that feeling. There's something in the consistency. Now, that is my texture issue to give full context with it. If you don't have texture issue, like right now it feels, my hands feel really weird. I want to go wash them in a minute. If you don't have texture issues, you're going to love this. You're going to absolutely, you're going to give it like a nine or a 10. For me, because of my texture, it's a sensitivity that I have only with certain products. It just feels weird on my hands and I need to go run and go wash them right now. Uh, but I love it otherwise. So for a normal person who doesn't have texture challenges, I would give it like a 9.5. It's a great product and the packaging is superior. Best packaging. Um, and the scent of it smells like bum bum cream. So that right there straight out of the gate gets extra points for the fragrance. But in terms of my hand, I got to go wash my hands. Now that I wash my hands, this would be great if you don't have texture issues. This was the one I use. I love it. I bought it. I'm not sponsored by them. Um, it's body firming cream. Love this one. I will also link this down with all of the other links down below. If you do want to do a little bit of shopping. I got you covered. <clears throat> Next, Countess of Shopping approved that we're going sequentially up. So that one I would give, because of my texture issues, a three, maybe even a two. I wanna love it. It got extra points because of the packaging and because it smells like bum bum cream. Of course we have our coveted bum bum cream. That one, like I feel like that's a 10 out of 10. 
I originally got onto this whole uh, Sol de Janeiro because of my niece and also on Amazon, I kept seeing this as one of the number one best sellers. You can get it in small or large. It's a 10 out of 10. I'm showing it to you now because it's a given. If you've not tried bum bum cream and you love like a beach scent, to me, I love the beach. That's my happy place. So every time I put this on, I feel like I'm in my happy zone. I feel so happy. It smells amazing. Um, it's it's a phenomenal product. So y'all, I gotta give it a 10 out of 10. The texture feels great. The scent on it's great. Um, the way it spreads on is great. And with that bum bum cream on there, I mean, it has been so popular. You can get it in a smaller container. I got it in the biggest because I was like, honey, give me a vat of it. Give me a vat of that bum bum cream. So that is Countess of Shopping Approved. It is a 10 out of 10. This is the eight fluid ounces of it. Love it, flaunt it you've got it. So I don't know if I'm going to be showing my bum bum, but I'll show my little arms. <laughs> and it's infused with all powerful. Um, and I'm going to mispronounce that name on there, but I will, it's a uh, Guriana extract. I apologize for the mispronunciation, but you can feel in there the coconut oil, um, the acai, the acai uh, fruit oil. It smells really good, really good. So that's obviously like that is a home run hit straight out of the gate. There is another one, and this is the smaller packaging, by the way. If you get the Bum Bum Cream, this is the smaller one, and this is the 40, the eight, excuse me, the eight ounces. This one's the 2.5 ounce. I wanted to try, it's the Baja Flora um, Elasti Cream from Sol de Janeiro, and I wanted to try this one too. It has on there Elasticity Boosting Body Cream to help maintain a youthful Brazilian bounce and deepening, um, deeply moisturizing skin. Let's try it. Straight out of the gate, let me see what this smell smells like. It does not smell like bum bum cream. It does not have that scent on there. I'll just put a little on the back of my hand. I'm weird about texture, so let me feel the texture of it. It's thick, it's rich. That actually feels like my other firming cream I had previously talked about. That is, it truly, I, I, I gotta do a second swipe. I can see in my hand a difference in terms, I mean, I got old lady hands, but I can see, see in the difference it is don't do gel nails because without SPF or gloves on, that's why I have old lady hands. Um, I can feel the texture on there and then the back of my hand, I can tell, you guys probably can't tell, I can tell it does look firmer. That's impressive. It doesn't have the bum bum scent. I kind of wish it had the bum bum scent to it, but um, I would give that a Countess of Shopping approved 9 out of 10, which is a very coveted high spot. That's that's nice. Um, it's the I beg your pardon. It is it's the Chorizo 68 fragrance. 68 fragrance. So it does have the 68 fragrance in there. There you go. There you go. And then our Bum Bum cream it had on there. Um, that one is just, just the traditional fragrance that they have. But that is I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Okay, so that 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 is a great choice. That is Countess of Shopping approved. Next, I've got our Sol de Janeiro Rio Dio. I saw this. Friends kept using this, and I was like. I'm going to buy it and check it out and see it has on there. You can get them unscented. I wanted mine scented because homegirl needs a little extra scent. But what caught my eye with this two things. One, it's aluminum free deodorant. And then two, it has on there. Um, it's, this one is the black amber plum and vanilla woods. You can replace like it's refillable. So you don't have to keep wasting packaging on it, which I think is brilliant and makes my heart so happy with this one. Um, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. Now the sweat component, I've been trying, I'm like, am I beginning more sweaty? Having, having used this, I've been using it for the past two weeks to really give it a good test to see if I liked it. And if I wanted to give it the Countess of Shopping approval rating, but you can refill these, which really caught my eye. This one is the citric acid Easter on there. It helps eliminate odor, which it does. I can be stinky at times. Tell the truth and shame the devil. I can be stinky at times. It has kept the stink away. Um, I have been a little bit more sweaty than normal, but not like excessive sweating. So um, I, I appreciated that. And then it has on there the coconut oil, mango seed butter in there too. So I, I, I love it. And I feel like I got very generous portion for the packaging. Here is how you can like raise and lower. I accidentally broke it because I've dropped it like three times. I've dropped it thrice. So <laughs> the breakage here on the packaging is user error and not the way that it came. It didn't come that way. It's because I kept smashing it on accident, but you can make it go up and down with the base on there. And then again, love the refillable component for the environment. And it's got that traditional, um, it's got the incredible scent to go with it too, which I really appreciate. Of course it has on there where it's cruelty free um, and vegan friendly. So love, 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 love. That one I would give 
easily um, a 7.5 out of 10, Countess of Shopping approved. I would give it an extra point if, if I wasn't having the continuous sweating thing with it. It's not overly sweating, but there has been, relative to other deodorants, a little bit more perspiration than I had anticipated. Okay, next, 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 next. I bought the Sol de Janeiro Hair Brazilian Glossy Nourishing Hair Oil. Friends, I had very low expectations about this hair oil. I came in not really having high hopes. It is incredibly impressive. <laughs> incredibly impressive. Um, it comes with two ounces and it helps to shine and deeply moisturize to fight frizz. I had really frizzy hair earlier today. I have since put it on and my hair does not look frizzy. It was like a poof ball. I look like a Pomeranian that just got out of a bath. It was like, poof. it was like super poof poof. It, it was awesome. It was awesome. Now the packaging, again, I go back to very, very smart packaging on it. Unlike the um, Brazilian, uh, excuse me, the Bum Bum body oil that had like the pla like the rubber part on the base, this doesn't have that, um, which it, because I'm assuming because it's a smaller packaging, but it does have on there the pump to go with it. You just pump in, there's the oil, rub it in your hands. I, I've already put it on, but it has the bum bum smell. Like if you love that traditional, the Sol de Janeiro bum bum um, cream, it has that scent, but you put it in your hair. So I'm gonna put a little in the back here just because I've already, I've already put mine in my hair already today. Love the packaging, love the packaging, love the lid. That'll make it easy to try. I travel. And so I appreciate the, the, the packaging on that. And I loved what it did with my hair. It looked like a poofy Pomeranian earlier. Like it was very, very frizzy. Great job I'm from the Sol de Janeiro hair um, with the Brazilian glossy. This is another one. Love, love, love. Um, and then there's the box, the packaging that it comes with. Um, next, the coveted fragrance. The Brazilian Crush, the Chorizo 62, and I'm probably butchering the way that that's, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm saying chorizo, you can tell I love me some sausage. It's probably not chorizo like sausage, it's probably another scent, but it's pistachio, salted caramel, um, and it smells amazing. It smells amazing. I mean, that smells so good. Now, I have the bigger one. You can get like the 71, and they have the different scents too. Um, the 71, this one is, how many does it say? How many? Three ounces, and this one is eight ounces, so depending. Love the packaging, love the scent. It does have this pump on there, very much reminded me of um, Aquanet, like 1991. Um, <laughs> I thought the pump could be a little bit, I don't know, it just, for the coveted, I don't know. I just thought that the pump would be different. That's my only qualm is the packaging has been so good for all of the other things. I mean, hello, that Rio Dio for the Sol de Janeiro Rio Dio, that deodorant, it's refillable. Like it's really smart and clever. This, it didn't wow me, the pump. That, that's my, that's my only negative. I mean, really, if that's the only negative, it's a 9.5. Um, and my sweet little niece was very excited to be me to be doing this review because I'm like, anything that I don't like, you can go ahead and have, but I think I'm gonna give her all of them. You, you think I should give her all of them? She doesn't know it yet, except for the deodorant. I'm gonna keep that one, <laughs> obviously. I'll be like, um, your auntie's giving you used deodorant. No, I'm not gonna do that to her. Um, and I, I will also keep my um, Elasti, the Elasti cream, but she loves, and if you've got teens or tweens, it's so popular, but hello, I'm not a teen or tween. And I really like the scent. Particularly in wintertime, it has made me very happy to have a beachy scent. The beach makes me happy. So if you like beach scents or that like whole vibe, you'll love this. And the way that the packaging, I mean, my hands and my arms feel really moisturized right now. The Bum Bum Cream is a must have. If you do not have that Sol de Janeiro, that is a given, that is a must. Do not pass go and collect your $200, get the Bum Bum Cream. That Bum Bum Cream, well worth it. And even if you get the smaller um, 2.5 ounces versus this one is the eight ounces, well worth it. So my sweet friends, if you found this video helpful, let me know down in the comments, click that follow button, click like so other people can see it too. Be kind to yourself and others and I'll see you guys again soon. Have a great day. Bye guys.